role today. Let me just address this um, this individual on um, social media, Kazim uh, Formuyad. Um, he um, put on his page, it is not like us getting dangerously close to getting corny. Uh, the gang breaks it down on the latest um, episode of Say Less Cas Low, uh, available on the YouTube page. So let me just make sure I got the right person before I, I, I tackle this. Uh, give me one second, folks. I want to make sure that whoever I'm addressing is the one that needs to be addressed. So let me just verify that this is the brother that was saying what he was saying in the video. And it looks like it is. So he is um, someone that stated that he feels it is it became... And he used this as an example, even though I know this is not the reason why he used it as an example. He says, when Taraji P. Henson used it for the BET Awards and Kamala Harris used it, that's when he thought it was corny. And then his co-host was basically saying, well, you've been complaining about this song for weeks now. This happens with every hit song. Every number one hit song, um, Call Me Maybe, um, In the Club, uh, happy, uh, any number one hit you can ever think of, you start seeing it everywhere. You you might even see it on Sesame Street. Um, the difference between this hit record and other hit records is this one actually has some substance in it. Usually it's just like a pop song. It's something that's just not really any any much to it, but this one is really breaking down our culture and breaking down the fact that for the longest, we've had so many people that were from Nigeria, people that were from Jamaica, people that were from Barbados, clearly stating, I'm not black. Clearly telling us that they weren't black, they weren't black American, that we have no culture, that that slavery thing is that got that ain't got nothing to do with us. They got everything to do with y'all, and I was like, wow. So just recently, you you hear more of us um, separating ourselves from calling ourselves African American because of how we have been treated by people that are from Africa. And I'm not saying all, but there have been some out there that have constantly said. You don't know what part of Africa you're from. You have no culture. You know you have no this or that. And the song is talking about y'all not like us. Y'all got your own culture. We have our own culture. If you look at this brother's page, um, he has the Nigerian flag on his page. So clearly he refers to himself as Nigerian. When he graduated from whatever he did in life, he will will say that he's Nigerian. But if he get in trouble or anything like that, something uh, discriminated against, now he want to say, and I'm not saying this guy, but just saying folks be doing that. And that's when they, oh, I'm black. And that's when they want to use it. So they want to use both. They want to use the, the their culture of where they come from as you know identity. But then when they get into some trouble or need to use us for some benefits to get a scholarship or to get some type of incentive to, to being like us, um, that's when they go under uh, the uh, mask of being black American. So he's saying this song is getting corny because all these other folks are using it, but it's really getting corny to them because it's calling out them. It's calling out people that not from our culture but are making money off of us. How we think about this? That for the people that say we don't have any culture, then why are you stealing it? If we have no culture, why are you still in our culture? If we have no culture, why are you trying to sing like us? Why are you trying to cook like us? Why are you trying to dress like us? Why are you trying to talk like us? Just think about it. 
we don't have something, then why are you trying to take something that we quote unquote don't have? Because we do have it. We do have our own culture. And we were put in a situation where, um, you know, our people, you know, were brought here and we were born here. We are American and we were born here and we have created so many amazing things here. But one thing we see with people that are coming from different countries, and I'm only talking about the ones that hate on us, is they come here and they'll have the flag where they're from. And then they will make money off of us or anyone else. And then they'll send that money back home. And they will talk to, you know, about how amazing where they're they're from, how amazing it is, but they're not there. Then they'll throw dirt on our name and say, we're not this, we're not that. But they weren't able to create the level of success that they, quote unquote, have made here back home. So, song's not going anywhere. Song's going to be here for quite some time, especially with football being around. I mean, we got a whole football season. We got a whole college football season, college this, that, and the third, and they're going to be playing this record. And it's funny to me that a lot of these folks that are saying these lyrics about they not like us, song I'm talking about you. So, yeah, this song ain't going nowhere, bruh.